Urinary tract infections are extremely common. Around one in two women and one in 20 men will get a UTI in their lifetime. Plus, once you've had one UT challenge, you're way more susceptible to another in the future. That's why you just need Just Thrive's UT123. This product can actually prevent UTIs while maintaining your urinary tract health. UT123 targets both immediate and long-term relief. We've all heard to drink cranberry juice for your urinary tract, but did you know that for the full effects, you need the whole cranberry? Not just juice, but the skin, flesh, and even the seeds. Well, UT123 uses superior ingredients that utilizes the whole fruit. This supplement truly is the full package. So if you're someone who struggles with the constant urge to urinate, a burning feeling when you pee, pelvic pain, or just want to be proactive in your urinary health, Just Thrive is for you. Just Thrive is so confident you'll love their product that there is a 100% money-back guarantee on every purchase made through JustThriveHealth.com. And for a limited time, you can save 20% off site-wide at JustThriveHealth.com with promo code SEXWITHEMILY. That's JustThriveHealth.com and use code SEXWITHEMILY for 20% off your order. You're going to love it. Listen, alcohol is just out in 2024. There is a rising trend of going alcohol-free or being sober curious, and alcohol, the truth is, it's just bad for you and can famously impair your sex life. So if you're looking for another way to unwind, relax, or just have fun, I cannot recommend Vaya's THC gummies enough. Vaya has gummies for every occasion. Whether it's to improve your sleep, I love their sleep gummies, I take them everywhere, your mood or your focus, they even have an aphrodisiac gummy called High Love to boost my arousal levels. High Love has a unique blend of cannabinoids and aphrodisiac exotic herbs that are known for their libido enhancing effects. So I've been using Vaya for a while now and I absolutely love them. They're a super trusted company, they use premium hemp, natural ingredients, and they're known for their premium indoor THCA flower. All their products are made here in the U.S. They got quick and discreet shipping to all 50 states so you can all enjoy them, not to worry, and also super affordable. So head over to viahemp.com and use code EMILY at checkout to save 15% off your order. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com. Use code EMILY at checkout for 15% off your order and let me know what you think. Look into his eyes. They're the eyes of a man obsessed by sex. Eyes that mock our sacred institutions. Bedroom eyes, they call them in a bygone day. Hey, Emily, you got a boyfriend? Because my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. The girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean, like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. But you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. You're listening to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex, relationships, and everything in between. Welcome to our free Friday show, and we're happy to be here on Extreme Talk XM 165. It's Friday the 13th. I hope nothing bad happened to you today. I actually think Friday the 13th is kind of lucky. I don't really trip off it at all. I don't trip off it either. But you have something to think about. I mean, when you were younger, it was this whole, like, spooky thing people would talk about right. while they're in school, but then you're like, uh, you're over. Okay, so forget you it. Don't even I won't remember. even bring that up. Um, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm full. I had a huge lunch and I'm having a hard time what? breathing. What? You I know. have a huge lunch? I had a hu- the biggest lunch ever. It was like a bibimbap. Do you know what that is? It's Korean no. food. And um, it's, e- it's rice and egg and vegetables and chicken and an egg like a full egg uh-huh. and kimchi it was just very Sounds filling. disgusting it was it was really good it reminded me of my college days we um, used to eat them so anyway that's all with me but then um i'm excited for the weekend i'm so friggin' ready what do you got going on um i'm going to this fundraiser tonight it's a casino night so it's like gambling it's for a friend's school that he's works at or something uh-huh. and um and we are going to that i'm going to that with some friends and then i don't really know what else hopefully it'll be nice outside go to the park again see naked gay men running around yeah i heard it might well i know in southern california it's gonna i heard it's gonna rain on friday because really? i was supposed to actually be at, at coachella. coachella this weekend are you sad you're not going um uh, not nah, kind of because they're doing this really cool thing uh you know snoop dogg and dr dre right well there was a guy that like sung a lot of courses, hooks they call him. His name was Nate Dog, and he died. Okay, wow. just this year. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a hologram of him performing the songs with them on stage. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and I really just want to see how it's done oh. because I've I've seen uh, this done before, just but like on online, right, right, where they did with a 
band called the Gorillas and stuff like that. And I, I think that's actually pretty amazing. And that's amazing. I like to see how it's executed. I don't get to see it. And they're not streaming it on YouTube over the weekend. Why? So I'm they're not streaming Coachella? You think they Well, would? they do. They do. But they're just not streaming the Dr. That Dre part, part oh. because Dr. Dre doesn't want to do it, apparently. That's what I heard from through okay. the grapevine. Whatever. But anyways, so this weekend, uh, tomorrow, I'm, uh, I'm going to a chocolate festival. Really? Where? Over at uh, Pixar Studios. Okay. You love Pixar. Yeah. You go there all the time. I go there all the time. A chocolate festival. I want to go. It's one of the advantages of of living where we live in San Francisco. We got all these amazing places around. Exactly. Like Zynga and Facebook. And they just have like crazy parties. And somehow we weasel our way in. That's great. Chocolate, chocolate festival sounds like yeah. orgasmic then, dream. And then the day after that, I'm going to a taco festival. <sighs> Chocolate and tacos. Yeah, but it's not a, a vagina one. It's actual tacos. It's not, yeah. I wasn't thinking vagina, but thanks I for mean, clarifying. I mean, we do do a sex show, correct? We do do a sex show. People <laughs> think tacos are like look like vaginas. Is that it? Right. Yeah, you never heard. I heard of, of like the pink taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I get it. But, I'm uh, down with that. Um, speaking of vaginas, mm-hmm. today's show is uh, about female ejaculation. April showers bring May flowers. Have you ever heard that wow. saying? Yes. So uh, April showers. We're talking about female ejaculation, and we've got that's some when they stuff pee about- on you. Correct. No, no, it is not urine. When they urinate, when a woman all ejaculates, golden it is, showers. It's not urine. It's <laughs> totally different than urine. And any woman can learn how to ejaculate. And we're going to teach you how to get your. Why would you want to? A lot of guys think it's hot, and a lot of women think it's hot. It's messy as hell. Menace, you and your friggin' no, no, OCD okay, messiness okay, is getting on, to be quick, a problem with your sex quick. life. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Ugh, what? Does it do anything for you? Does it give you an, a high end orgasm? And don't just say, just, yeah, because I just said that. What does it actually do for you? It when feels you good. It it's feels cool. good. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it feels good, then. Do you think it's hot? Have you ever had a woman ejaculate? Yeah, yes. No, and I, you I, like... I thought she peed all over the place and my sheets Okay, were all well, wet. that's what we're going to talk about today. We get tons of emails about female ejaculation, and it actually is not urine. I mean, sometimes a woman can urinate on you, but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's clear fluid. It doesn't leave a urine stain on your bed. It comes from the urethra, mm-hmm. um, the G spot stimulation. So we're going to talk about that. And then we've also got a list of 10 things all guys want in bed. And we're going to see if that's true. We're going to talk to, we're oh, gonna talk, all discuss right. it. You like that one? Yes. Better than female ejaculation? Yes, of course. Um, um, and today's show is brought to you by Good Vibes. Good Vibrations. Use coupon code GVMLY15 for 15% off all your purchases at goodvibes.com. Good Vibes is an amazing sex toy store based here in San Francisco, but they've got a, a wonderful online store with all the best toys. They only carry the best toys, like my favorite, the Mimi, which I've been talking about all week by Juju. Um, I love it. It's the most powerful handheld vibrator, and it's great for couples to use. It's the Mimi by Juju. You should check that out and use coupon code GVEMILY15. Good. If you want to. Isn't that cool? Have you been watching any TV lately? Oh, gosh, no, I haven't. Nothing? No, I have not watched one thing in, like, weeks. I watched some— I fell, uh, off, the, I fell, off, the, I fell off the wagon. I watched some Bethany. And? Ever After. Do you like it? On Bravo. And, yeah, I, her assistant's leaving her. Why? She, her assistant wants to go get, um, like, live with her boyfriend in another state. Oh, wow. And she's like, ah, oh, yeah, I want to settle down and blah, blah. I think that, I think, because she, her assistant's been with her since the beginning. Right. And I think maybe it's just like, Exhausting. Okay, well, yeah, maybe that. Or it also, Bethany made like a ton of money and now it's successful and then maybe like she didn't she's still probably getting paid the same rate and maybe it's like, all right maybe i don't i i don't know anything about the financial situations between it but maybe i'm like i was thinking to myself why would she leave at this point when right. you know they still got tv shows going on bethany's about to get a talk show did right. you hear about that yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellen I did is, hurt. Is, ellen's producing it wow yeah that is huge. so cool that's Mega huge. And I'm Mega thinking, huge. I'm like, why would this chick leave? And then maybe she Maybe didn't... she's not as career focused just because you work for someone like that. Maybe she really wanted to focus on her boyfriend and her life. But I haven't seen it. No, I've got them all DVR'd and, um, and it's on the list. Maybe I'll watch some TV this weekend. Yeah, but I've meant so... to. I, I, it's on the list of things to do. So like that's pretty much what I watched lately. And then Chloe and Lamar. I love watching. You love that? Yeah, because it, it, it's just a crazy transition to watch them, you know, just up and leave Los Angeles because he got traded and they don't know what to do. And seeing them go through all that kind of stuff, that happens to people in everyday life yeah. where they have big so it decisions. it seems more relatable. Yeah, where people have big decisions. Oh, you know, I got this huge job offer across the country. You know, I almost left you a long time ago. You, I don't know. 
if you even know this. No. Well, no, I mean, Tell we, me were, we weren't really so. doing a lot of shows okay. together. It's when I got my night show, like, a couple yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, At the same time, a lot of people don't know, but I was getting offered to go work on a morning show in Chicago. Oh, wow. I'm glad you didn't yeah. go, because then we wouldn't be here talking about sex. I know, we wouldn't. Do you think you're going to have Where sex would this we weekend? Be? We would be nowhere. Where, <laughs> do, do, do you think you're going to have sex intercourse this weekend? I'll probably have intercourse this weekend. So there is someone somebody. that you're kind of seeing? No. Well, how do you know? Is it the same woman from last weekend? Uh, no. A different woman? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no, 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 man. You can't hold me down. I can't hold you down. Just because you're all getting in exclusive relationships now, just because you're turning over a new leaf. I'm not turning over a new leaf. Don't try to push it on me. I'm not turning over a new leaf. I'm just exploring it. Oh, really? Just because you got a boyfriend now doesn't mean you got to put it on me to get locked down. I would not use those words. I should get a girlfriend now? Boyfriend makes me tense. No, I'm just saying. got a boyfriend, I should get a girlfriend? You shouldn't start saying boyfriend. So we should be all, everybody should be held down and uh, planning on their future and getting married. Correct. Because... That's no, I'm dating happen. someone regularly, and oh, I'm not cheating on him. Oh, so you are dating him. somebody. I'm not cheating on him. Oh, so then it's your boyfriend. No, I, I mean, yes. I mean, if you're in an exclusive relationship. <laughs> this is a hard topic for me. <laughs> because it really was never what I was about, but I really like this guy. That's cool. Yeah, I'm it's cool. awesome. He's really cool. When do you put it on Facebook? Oh, my God, never. Uh, I don't believe that you should share your relationship <laughs> status on Facebook, ever. Yeah, you should. If you really love the person you're with, then who cares if people know, oh, my God, I have a girlfriend or, oh, my God, I have a boyfriend or, oh, my God, I have a husband. Put it on there. You should be proud that you have a significant other. No way. What do you mean no way? When hell freezes oh, over. Oh, yeah, just because the people that don't want to do that is the people that want to keep their options open That's for the bigger, true. better picture. That- it's fine. Whatever. Just admit it. There's That's no true. other reason to do it. Every person that because I talk to that does break up, everybody's like, oh, what happened? And then you got to sh- when you can you, you don't, change it back? No, 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 no. It doesn't. Yes, any, it does. Any, when no, they're no, like, no. Emily's no longer. Emily's oh, gone from relationship to, tell, to single. You're trying to tell me about Facebook? You're trying to tell me about it Facebook It says right you've now. gone from relationship no. to single. And then everyone's like, oh, I'm sorry. What happened? That you used to do that. You don't, it doesn't, you don't have to it go through do that. It doesn't do that anymore? You don't have to go through that no more. No more? Unless people are like really stalking your page. He's actually already done it with a girl before. He's mm-hmm. done the relationship status thing and he didn't really like it either. That's cool. You guys she made him open. do it. You know, I got my fine. options open, baby. I never know who I'm going to be meeting. Just, you know, live the swinger life, man. Just- I'm not a swinger yet. <laughs> Although I've been invited to a swinging. Do you want to go to this party I got invited to? Fuck no. It's no like a- party that you get invited to, I would ever want to go was, to. Come on. That's mean. That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> Every it's a fe- party that you have described is a party that it seems like I would never want to go to. You won't want to go to this one. But if it was a party for you, then I would go to support it. We're going to have yeah. another intern party party at my house and we'll do it on a Friday or Saturday. Thank God. That was fun the last one. It was, but fuck, man, I had to go home. I know, and I fell asleep on the People couch. don't know this, but I, I get up super early in the morning every morning and for some reason every time Emily has an event, maybe, you know, going to Las Vegas or just a, an event at her house, it's always in the middle of the week. So I'm I cannot... supposed to revolve my schedule yes. around you because you have to wake up at 3 a.m. Yes. Who, is, who has been around since... Since the beginning of time. Who has never left you? You never left me. Yeah, so why can't you just plan something on a Friday so we can I'm be going together? to. I'm going to plan something stupid. You're out of town every weekend in Vegas where I'm not invited. In May, but that's, you know, that's just business stuff. Oh, shut up, Menace. This is business, too. It's that's all just, business. You, I don't know. You're anymore. not going to want to go to the Billboard Awards. You don't care about that kind of stuff. Is you it musicians? Even know any, yeah, you wouldn't even know any of the Billboard? people there. I don't want to go. <laughs> See? But I would go to Vegas and just hang out. I was just there. It was yeah, super but I'll fun. be like doing. I don't need stuff. to hang out with you the whole time. Then why even come with me? Because we'd have fun when we did get to hang yeah. out. Okay, whatever. True that. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to move into some sex in the news. All right. Okay. Sex in the news. Clean on uh, clean up on aisle three. Best Buy CEO resigns after using company money for an affair. Oh, that's why he resigned. Yes. Oh, my God. It's a problem even the Geek Squad couldn't fix. Why? You heard about it? Well, no, I didn't know why he resigned. I was actually going to Best Buy uh, yesterday, and I was walking in. I was with uh, a friend of mine, and I said, oh, I just read today that the the CEO resigned. Right. And – I go, wow, that's that's a new revelation. I did not know this. I love this. Listen to this. It's a problem even the Geek Squad couldn't fix. Best Buy's head, Brian Dunn, abruptly quit yesterday. 
when the board of directors began investigating him for an extended warranty to a female employee. According to Best Buy, an internal audit was called after the board learned of Dunn's and Dunn uh, learned of Dunn's something and Dunn controlled alt deleted his career before the investigation was over. So whatever he was having, he was having using company money too for an affair. They were using all this terms, extended warranty. Caught up. If you're the CEO, you have enough money. You don't need to use company money for stuff. It's always the CEO who has the affair. And then I was just seeing this morning that John Edwards, that, that he's finally going to trial because of the affair he had with his campaign photographer. And he was using campaign funds to fund the affair. Like, people are idiots. If you're running a campaign, you're running a company, you're running a corporation, you're running the country. These are the people because they have the most power and the most money that they think that they can have an affair. And no one's going to know and they're untouchable because they have all this power. But use really, your own money. Like you don't need to use company money. These are greedy, people are greedy like mofos. Super rich. You know who should get more money? Who? The, C- the CEO of Taco Bell. I love that guy. He only makes $2.5 million a year for Taco Bell. That's crazy. Taco Bell's huge. How do you know this? I know random facts. I know. You like know Napa. Them. You go to Napa all the time, right? And my Napa. mom's coming out in a month and we're going yeah. to Napa. Yeah. You know Napa, California? I've heard of it. Napa, California has over 400 wineries but only produces 4% I know, of California's, you told me that, right. California's wine output. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you what told me that. What else you want to know? I'll, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one more thing. <laughs> you, you told me that one already, though, so it doesn't count. Okay. Uh, Clint Eastwood was born in San Francisco. Okay. Fascinating. How about that? And that's Bruce Lee. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Didn't know that. Okay. That's some good news. Okay. <laughs> baldness drug link to sex problems. That's a bummer. Uh, see, that. God damn it. It's like, we'll give you a full head of hair, but you can't get an erection. Yeah. Like, what? what's up with pills, man? Like, oh, we'll, we'll give you an erection, but you'll go blind. Right. Exactly. Like, I don't understand. It's so unfair. Why? Or the antidepressants. Like, yeah. oh, we'll make you really happy, but you can't have an orgasm. Yeah. You, you, you're, you can have a boner forever, but... You can't splooge. Exactly. Okay, so it sounds like a would-you-rather question, baldness or sexual dysfunction. But for hundreds of men who take Propecia, which I know a lot of men do, a baldness drug, the choice is Mm -hmm. very real. As of today, Propecia's packaging will now include warnings about libido, orgasm, and ejaculation disorders and reports of infertility that occur after patients stop using the medicine. Damn. Though casual links between Propecia and sex problems aren't clear, enough reports have come in for the FDA to require new labeling. Do you know how many friggin' men use Propecia? A lot. Or some kind of hair growth drug? You're lucky you're not losing your hair yet. You got a full head of hair? A lot of guys. I was actually making fun of some... Some DJ was trying to talk crap to me on Twitter. Oh, right. You called him bald. And I started referencing Propecia. And then I should go back and say, hey, you know... Not only that, how's your limp dick? Yeah, how's your limp dick, Propecia guy? Exactly. Not only you're bald, (laughs) but you got a limp dick and you can't ejaculate. That is a bummer because you got to choose. Okay. Congrats to Mr. and Mrs. Big, Chris Noth, Marys in Maui. So Sex in the City star Chris Noth, who was Carrie Bradshaw's... Mr. Big, Mm -hmm. got himself a good wife when he tied the knot with his longtime girlfriend, Tara Wilson, during a sunset ceremony in Hawaii. The wedding was small and intimate with only 10 close friends and family members in attendance. Chris is 54 and Tara is 30. Really? They've been together since 2002. Well, who cares? So that's 27 year difference. Eh, what if? Wow. What's the name? Baldwin. He just married, what, a 26 year old and he's 50 something? Guys are lucky. Yeah, we get better with age. Yeah, you do. It's true. I'm attracted to older men a lot. And then uh, I feel sorry for women that are attractive. You should – any woman that's like mildly attractive or, yeah. you know, you're just okay. Mildly you should, attractive. <laughs> yeah, you should just thank your lucky stars that you're not attractive because it's, it's all just downhill from here. You mean after you get past a certain age? Yeah, it's just all downhill. Then everyone's going to be like, oh, I remember when she was so hot. But at least if you're like – just okay looking, you never have to worry about that. That's true. That's true. That's a good sign for all the ugly people. Ugly um, people embrace because you know what? Everyone's going to get ugly at some point. Gonna I'm not. Busted. It's going to suck. It's going to happen soon. Okay. China censors Kate Winslet's 3D breasts for fear audiences will try to touch them. What? The 3D revamp of Titanic is exciting news for a lot of people, but especially for those who can't tell the difference between real and imaginary boobs. The Chinese government has taken measures to prevent any mishaps in theaters caused by the vivid three dimensions of of Rose's breasts. And the famous sequence in which Jack sketches his naked lover will only feature Kate Winslet's head and shoulders. 
Some yeah. China figures. China I I always difference. trying to hold people down. China is they do a lot of they do a lot of um of uh censorship and stuff like that. Yeah, crazy movies. censorship. Crazy. Any other sex in the news that you heard about today in your TMZ readings or no, anything? No, I was hanging out with um Skrillex's girlfriend today. Skrillex is a big time producer, world renowned DJ guy cool. for dubstep music. And I was hanging out with his uh, lovely lady. She's a huge singer in the UK. Her name's uh, Ellen Golding today, and she was quite sweet. So I say support her music. Okay, Ellie Golding. Yeah, but it was so funny because uh, I guess she was just at Disneyland with him and in Los Angeles, and she had to fly up here to San Francisco do some radio stuff. And she was wearing one of his jackets. Oh. It said Skrillex on it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. That is cool, man. Okay. Well, um, I've got some emails. All right. What do you got? Thanks, everyone, for emailing us at feedback at sexwithemily.com. You can also go right to the website and you can uh, email straight from there where it says Ask Emily. Our website is sexwithemily.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Sex with Emily. And you can follow Menace at White Menace. On everything. Everything. On Instagram. Let's do, let's do Instagram. That's all you want to do? I want to do Instagram and Tumblr. All the other ones I can take care of. You it's don't fine. want people to follow I you mean, on you Twitter You can follow Facebook? me on Twitter and Facebook. That's cool. But, you know, Instagram. I share a lot of stuff on Instagram that I don't share Way on too much else. stuff. No, I don't. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay. You just don't follow enough people. That's why. So that's you only see my photos. I know. I don't follow enough people because I don't have time. I don't go on it that much. But it's on my – I'm going to do it. <laughs> you don't have time? What are you talking about? You always have your phone here. That's where it's on. I take a picture of you and post it after the show. <sighs> are you feel like that I am giving you too much crap right now? Are you getting exhausted? No. No, 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 no. I just can't breathe because I ate too much. I'm unbuttoning my pants. <laughs> are you serious? Do you ever do that? No. You never unbutton your pants when you can't breathe? Nope. I don't do that. But I, I mean, so much I, better. I know old men do that when they have. I am an old man right now. I had the biggest lunch ever and I'm dying still. Would you be able to form sexually right now? No. I wouldn't even look at a dick if it came my way. I would be like. But if no. guys like, look, I'm, you know, I'm really horny right now. And then you would, you I would, would push deny away any boner. I would, I would deny, 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 deny. Really? I can't put anything else in my mouth right now. Damn. If he wanted a bone, if he wanted a blowjob or something like that. <laughs> All right. I just feel like I can't. So, yeah. okay. Dear Emily, as to why you should send me a condom care package, I'm recently divorced after 21 years. Think I'm going to need them. Recently found your podcast on iTunes. Actually, just what I need. He didn't sign his name and he wants he wants condoms. We've got a bunch of lifestyle condoms to give away if you want condoms. No, where are they? Dude, you said you were going to bring me some. Shut more. up, Menace. Don't even bring this up. I brought what? Menace a whole friggin' pack what? and he gave him to his friend who was going to some festival. And he was going he was, to South by Southwest for two weeks. And he thought his friend needed him more than he did. Just yeah. come by the office. We'll give you a bunch of stuff. All right. I'm, uh, I'm looking for – keep on reading, but I'm looking for some tweets because I know some listeners are, were tweeting me lately. Okay. And I want to reply. You'd like to read the tweets? Yeah. Okay. Dear Emily, I am 40 years old. Are there any supplements that can truly increase the female libido? I am married and we have a good sex life, but sometimes I'm not as horny as I used to be. Always satisfied, but I would like to pump it up more a little. Thank you, Amy from White Lake, Michigan. White Lake, We love our Michigan. I have got a great one for you because I've been taking it for the last six weeks. It is called Hot Rocks. That's R-A-W-K-S, hotrocks.com from Raw Nation. And it's a certified organic aphrodisiac for men and women. It intensifies pleasure and interest in sex. It increases libido, lubrication, and circulation. It increases sexual performance at peak levels, helps to balance hormones by producing the right amount of testosterone for women. Women do not have enough testosterone. doesn't mean you're going to grow a mustache or a dick. Prolonged use can cause sexually related dreams. That's awesome. So um, there's also some topical estrogen products available for application. Some women do go on prescription testosterone in hopes of experiencing like a rapid improvement in their libido. But testosterone should only be prescribed after careful, thoughtful evaluation and testing. For sometimes, uh, sometimes women, there isn't a simple pharmaceutical fix for sex drive, but feel more sexually energized. You can try Hot Rocks. Again, it's hotrocks.com, R-A-W-K-S, and I've been taking it for about six weeks. I love them, and if you go there and you get a um, – and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, which I think is amazing. So if you don't like them, you don't feel a difference, just get your money back. And when you go to their page, you just click on how you heard about it. You can say the Sexual Family Show. And, uh, yeah, I love friggin' 30-day money-back guarantee. I almost buy anything that's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Cause you're of like, course you would. Is this, is this is all true? Intensifies your pleasure. And I have been feeling a little bit hornier mm-hmm. and energized since I've been taking them. 
women. Do you want a bottle? I have some. On you right now? On your person? No, in my office. <laughs> All right. Um, women return a lot of stuff, though. You guys return stuff like crazy. Guys don't return stuff as much. I, I can't even remember the last time I returned I return something. everything. I buy stuff. I return it to your mind. I get buyer's remorse. Mm-hmm. I get buyer's remorse all the time. I just don't even shop because it makes me tense. <laughs> I'm like, what if it has another color? What if it? What if I don't really want it? What if I don't wear it? Like, I yeah. return everything. I, uh, I was You're tra- right, though. It is some kind of a chick thing. It's totally a chick thing. Yeah. What were you? What did you find um, on your Twitter? I'm on my tweets, I... It's, I can't find some questions that I had, but I had some people congratulate. We haven't even mentioned the TV show. We've got we, a TV show. Give it, give it a quick mention. Okay, so um, I, Menace and I shot a reality TV show. It's your show. It's, it's my show. show. It's I, um, I be okay. Menace there. is in it. It's called Misadvise. It's going to be on Bravo Television, Bravo TV. You can check it out at bravotv.com and search for Misadvise. Two words, and it is a reality show based on my dating life and my work life and do I practice what I preach so we, we shot it for actually two months in November and December we couldn't tell any of you what was going on we were playing a lot of repeats of shows people were upset we're sorry that is why but there's a trailer you can check it out it's on um, my website and sexlemy.com it's also on the Bravo website and Menace is in it they love Menace they kept saying can we get you and Menace go out and have drinks and stuff so it was awesome yeah it was really cool and- right have you got any more feedback about it uh, no, because there's only that quick clip that's been on I know. There, Don't so. you want to see more footage? I want to see more footage. We, I want to see people talking about it. Here's the scary stuff. thing. If you ever wonder about reality TV, I literally just shot it. I shot it for about two and a half months. I will never get to see the footage until it airs. Yeah. Like, I, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, but the Kardashians the same way. They don't get to... I don't know how they're editing it together. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm going to look like. A yeah. freak. Uh, no. I'll look amazing. But do I practice what I preach? That's what they want to know. Ooh. What do you think? Anybody listening to the show, they would know the answer. I don't have to say anything. Missed and then uh, I also got a message from a listener saying that I should get 800 thread count sheets. Yeah. 800 thread count? They said it feels like, they said it's like, they said it feels like lotion. <laughs> is it, it does. like silk? Does it feel yeah, like silk? Yeah, no. Eight, I mean, it is true, but thread counts are this kind of thing. Like, as long as you get over 500 thread count and you're okay, they've made the 800 thread count because it's like everything. They have like 1,200 thread count, but really? I don't think you have to go that high. Go get the whole, like, What's it feel like? It feels good, but I don't think it feels any different than the 500, to be honest. And it's more sensitive to the washer or dryer. I'm, I'm going 1,200 then. What do you have now? I think I have 500. You probably have 500. Yeah. Go to like Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get them. Somewhere for 12, 1200. I mean, you could try the 1200. I think you should get one of these things that are the best. Do they? I don't know. My mom says, and she knows 400. No, I don't know. But my mom says that it's like after you get up past a certain thread count, it's all kind of BS. It's like, what other company does that? Like, um, like, like sun protection, like, like it used to be like 30. 30 SPF and now you mm. get like 90 SPF but they say like after 30 SPF or 40 SPF it's all the same thing and I kind of think it's the same thing for thread count although I do think men should have nice sheets kind of like wine too you can get two buck chuck and then I can put a hundred dollar bottle of like wine, wine. Right wine next to it that is so not you true be wine is better wine is wine the, no I know a good <laughs> bottle of wine when I know a good bottle oh, really? of wine really we should do a I taste don't test. Li- I do know I still have two bottles of two-buck chuck for next time you come over. If people don't know what two-buck chuck is, it's this $2 wine that you can buy at Trader Joe's. I don't know if there's Trader Joe's across the country. I, there are yeah, a lot of places. Michigan. Yeah. yeah. But they sell this $2 wine. It's amazing, but Emily will not drink it because it's $2 wine. It's not that I won't she drink it. I don't enjoy it. Wine. I'm not above it. I just don't enjoy it. Oh. But it's it's weird that... You know, they've done a taste test with prestigious wine tasting people and they didn't couldn't Where even Where the, the hell did you see these taste tests? It Penn and Teller did it on their t- TV so show. So one called, person did it. Called bullshit. Right. I mean, I'm not saying that some people wouldn't think it tastes better, but they might oh, not have but they don't that have a sophisticated, a sophisticated palate. palate like yourself. Right. <laughs> I have a sophisticated palate. Okay. You do the taste test yeah. with me. Let's do it. All right. Next time we have our party at my house. Sounds good. Okay. Emily, I just want to know something. I masturbate every day. Is that okay or not? From Desmond in Brookhaven, Pennsylvania. Well, Desmond. Well, Desmond, that is totally fine. There is nothing wrong with you. Masturbating every day is completely mm. normal and um, no problem, nothing to worry about unless it becomes a problem and you have you have to do it 15 times a day or it starts to increase. But most of the things that people worry about, if they're normal, you're normal. You're fine. Masturbating every day is healthy. In fact, most guys, a lot of guys do masturbate every day. Every day. Do you? It makes you. You don't masturbate longer. every day, do you? No, no, I don't have time. 
Um, I wish. You don't? You wish you could. I wish How I many time. times a week do you masturbate? <sighs> Probably two or three times a week. Oh, okay, that's like good. That. Hey. That's average. I mean, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I've been masturbating more because I have all these sex toys that I all of a sudden I've got this like deluge of sex toys that have been sent my way, and I have to test them out. I feel that you're gonna. I I'm, I feel that you're gonna wear out your vagina with all these. You think I'm gonna wear out my vagina? <laughs> my vagina is gonna become like. <laughs> See numb how I and, paused and re tried to figure out a different way to say it, but but it didn't work out. Didn't work out. Um, I've got this really cool vibrator. Another one of our sponsors is Jimmy Jane, and you can go to jimmyjane.com and use coupon code Spring, and you get twenty five dollars off purchases a hundred dollars or more. And if you visit Emily's Picks page right from my website, you can see my favorite products. And they have this Form 2. It's called the Jimmy Jane Form 2 Vibrator. And it's really powerful and it's really cool looking. And you can leave it by the side of your bed and people will use it. I mean, no one will know that it's a vibrator. And it, I really like it. I've got, I've had it for a while, but I've just been using it lately and I'm really into it. So go to JimmyJane.com, use coupon code SPRING, buy yourself a present, buy your girlfriend a present, whatever. They also have a really good... Um, Ring for men's penises, a stretchy ring. Oh, you're really into that. A you vibrating like the, cock ring. I like love them. That. If you've never used and you're looking for a sex toy for couples, the cock ring is amazing because it stretches. It has a little vibrator at the end of it. It's amazing. And it you hits like, the woman's clitoris. You like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. Hi there, Emily. I like your iPhone app, Kaggle Camp, and I'm using it daily along with my own routine. I think it's very nice to be able to keep track of what you're doing, especially the vibrating with no sounds option, as, the, as it lets me do other things while doing my routine. However, I'd like you to introduce the reverse Kaggle and integrate it into routines. Have a nice day and great sex. The Sir reverse Jew. Kaggle. Exactly. I didn't even know. So I have an app called Kaggle Camp, and you can buy it in the iTunes store, and it is... Um, it is for men and women. It helps men have longer, stronger orgasms. It helps men with premature ejaculation. It helps men stay harder longer. And it helps women have stronger orgasms. Kegels do. And they're free and easy to do. And you just buy the app. And it's my voice walking you through it. But I've gotten the most lengthy, detailed responses from people, requests from people about what they'd like changed in the app because they love it and they want even more. Mm-hmm. So reverse kegels are a type of kegel that helps maintain a longer erection and enjoy a more intense orgasm. While regular Kegel strengthening exercises help to increase control, reverse Kegels help to soften and relax the muscles, as well as push the blood in the penis so when they do become aroused, the muscles will contract more easily. So how you do a reverse Kegel is you contract the penile muscles. Focus on contracting the muscles near the front of your penis while keeping the rest of the pelvic area as relaxed as possible. Breathe in slow, deeply. We'll post this on the blog. I don't feel like reading it right now. All right. (laughs) I'm not in the mood, but go to my website. Okay, we'll post it. And then it. you have like uh, another app. What is it? 101 Sex 101 tip. Sex Tips from Sex with Emily is another really good app that I'm going to update soon. You should check it out. And you have a book out. I have a book called Hot <laughs> Sex Over See, 200 let me do Things. All the I love you. it. It's called Hot Sex Over 200 Things You Can Try Tonight. You can buy it on Amazon. It's selling really well. And here's why. If you are in a relationship or you just are not in a relationship, it doesn't matter. The book really does give you 200 things that you can try that are easy to do that will spice up your relationship or your sex life, no matter whether it's the first time you're having sex with someone or the hundredth time you're having sex with someone. And it has beautiful illustrations that are kind of hot and sexy. Cool. Don't you think? Yeah, it is. Buy Actually, it on Amazon. the illustrations should be at Comic Con. They're so good. I know. To be honest, yeah, I know. They, they really should be. Um, so I love my book. Yeah. And yeah. I've been working on the sex toy that I'm coming with. Coming out with what it's called the dump truck in the scientists in Japan. I've been having some issues with the overheating, but hopefully. Shut up, Menace. <laughs> what the hell is the dump truck anyway again? Have you even thought it's about just, what it is? I can't tell you until it comes out. The dump truck. It's so sensual. I love the sound of it. It's really hot. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are going to move into our topic. So we've got some top. We're going to talk about squirting, a.k.a. Mm. female ejaculation. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's it's true that a lot of men think and women think that it's urine. It is urine. It's not. So <laughs> here's the deal. You may not think it's real or a figment of someone's overzealous imagination, but female ejaculation is real and possibly coming to a woman near you. Hasn't, hasn't scientists 
Some scientists say it's not real. Just like the G-spot, yes. There's always people mm-hmm. debating that it's not real. Well, why but would I'm they go against it? Because what? they go because people go against everything that they could go against. But female ejaculation is real. I've done it. I'll be honest. It's mm-hmm. it's it's not urine. It doesn't smell like urine. It's it comes from a totally different place. Where so, where is this the urethra? Sack of I'm going to get into it. Fluids located. Okay, it's okay. So female ejaculation, also known as squirting or gushing, is not That's urine. Sexy. It is actually near the exact chemical construction as prosthetic fluid. So it's it's kind of like a male splooge, but uh-huh. it has enough sperm in it. Really? You may be thinking, but women don't have prostates. Not true. Only a couple of years ago, the medical establishment admitted the existence of a female prostate. The G spot is the main ingredient for getting female ejaculate. For getting, they women just to- found out women had a prostate like last yeah, year. Yeah, something like that. Are you serious? The G spot is the main ingredient in female ejaculation, and it's no coincidence that the G spot is exactly the same spot as the male prostate. So the G, they say the G spot is like the male prostate. But first, you have to find the G-spot. And men are often very proud when they're the catalyst for a squirt orgasm. And this is because it takes a certain touch to procure these special ejaculatory functions. Mm-hmm. Now, menace is like, why would you ever want to do that? But a lot of men think it's hot. A lot of women think it's hot. But it's separate. If you, have a, if you ejaculate, a woman ejaculates, it doesn't necessarily mean she has an orgasm. It's separate. Oh, that's cool. So I did all this work to make you ejaculate, and then you still have an orgasm. Yeah. So now I got to do that too. Yep. Wow. Wow. Good time. Thanks for huh? making it easy. Because see, men, men were like men that are listening right now. Go, oh yeah, I'll jump in, I'll do that. But hey, dude, you want to do that after like the third hundred time you've had sex with this chick? You know? What do you mean? Do they want to do what? The ejaculation? Because you see, we always get emails like, oh, because I say, oh, I don't want to deal with the mess. And, you know, oh, my God, I have to do all this work to to make a girl have an orgasm. But do you think I have that attitude when I'm first having sex with a chick? Probably not. You know, and so these are the attitudes that people email us with being all excited. But you got to think down the road. All right. Your four, th- third hundredth time having sex with this person, you're not going to be like, oh, my God. Okay, fine. I finally made her ejaculate. Now I got to make her orgasm. No, it's a lot they of work. can orgasm and ejaculate at the same time. Okay. And a lot of times then they go they hand in hand. Do it? <laughs> <laughs> why do you it's, make me do so much work? It's not that easy. It's not that easy, Menace. But it's if you're playing with the woman's G-spot, which mm-hmm. is what you need to be doing to have her ejaculate, a lot of women orgasm through their G spot, so it's a lot of women do orgasm with it, but it is separate. A woman may a woman may have always been able to do it, but other women may deliberately learn how to do it either alone or with a partner. So this is how you could do it. Okay, if you want to get a squirt out of your lover, you, your lover, this is for men. You will need to know the precise method and how to achieve the elusive female ejaculation. So here's the deal. Not every woman can ejaculate. So don't be disheartened if it doesn't work as you expect. As you expect. Mm-hmm. But every woman has the biological anatomy to ejaculate. So it is possible in theory. It may be more difficult for some because of her physical makeup, weak pelvic, pelvic floor muscles, which means she should be doing her kegel exercises, inability to relax. That's a big one. A lot of women don't have orgasms and don't ejaculate or anything because they're so stressed out or they, they're inside their head too much and women need to relax in order to have orgasms. So it takes practice. You have to really practice to learn how to ejaculate and it's uh, she can practice on her own. You can practice together. So before you start, she needs to go to the bathroom and empty her bladder. So there will be no mm. concern that this is urine. Okay? Pee-pee. So you, she has to pee. Then your job, menace, as a man, Mm-hmm. Is to turn her on. Do it however you want. Use foreplay, go down on her, play with her breasts, kiss her neck, stroke her yeah, thighs. So, you know, some Christian Louboutins at her and go, here you go, bitch. Whatever turns her on. Enjoy. You're turned on. Now, can I receive? You do can foreplay. I, can I receive fellatio now? Come Thank on, you. Menace. You like foreplay. I'm just kidding. I'm just giving you such I know, a hard time. I know, and yeah, I know, and I can't course, breathe. Of course, I, you know, I set all the candles and I... I make out with her for at least 45 minutes. Good. And then I go down on her for about two hours. That's awesome. That's so hot. Then I play with her breasts for another 
three hours before I even penetrate. Right. That's usual uh, lovemaking Yeah, like six hours. Me. That's yeah. really hot. That's that's how I get down. I know. That's how you, you get down. Me? You better leave and get started now for your yeah. sex this weekend. Um, and then I take a nap. And then you nap. That's so sweet. You're so giving. I am that giving. Well, if you want to find her G-Spot, this is going to take some work. Well, yeah. Tell that's me about That's our next it. app is the G-Spot locator. <laughs> Okay, so how you can do, how you find her G-spot, and she might know where it is. Hopefully, if you're a woman, you are, you know where your G-spot is and you found it. You can do this by feeling the front inside wall of her vagina with a lubed finger or two, about one finger length up. The G-spot has a different texture from the rest of the vaginal muscles and may feel rough or raised. It is easy to feel when she's aroused because it swells with fluid and blood. So a lot of times, women, in order to feel the G-spot... She needs to be already stimulated. So you need to already stimulate her clitorally or in other ways, play with her breasts, kiss her neck, whatever turns her on. But you you feel it. It's in the upper third of the vagina, and it's um, it's against like you. It's like a come hither motion if you stick your fingers inside, and it's like reach going towards her belly button, and it feels roughed and raised. And um, so then you got to touch her G spot. Focus on the front row of the vagina. Explore with lube fingers. Push on their G-spot and see how it feels. A lot of women think that when they get pressure on their G-spot, it feels like they have to urinate. But as long as her bladder is empty, she won't. this won't happen. And that's when she's feeling normal. So go with it and don't try to stop. Okay, the next thing about female jack, now you've found the G-spot, introduce a toy or keep using your fingers. So you can use a toy or your fingers. So this consists of keeping her aroused and firmly stimulating the G-spot with either your fingers or a firm toy with a curved end. They make a lot of G-spot toys. Toys just for the G-spot. I just got one from Good Vibes and I'm going to check that out. And um, until she feels she's ready. You can use your penis, but it's not a good idea to find it the first time with your penis. She, um, so she needs to be relaxed and let it flow. It may help her to push with her PC muscles. If she feels it coming on but nothing seems to be happening, this will push it out. Keep stimulating her and keep communicating about how it feels. So it's all about you keep putting pressure, pressure, pressure on the G-spot. And she might feel like she has to urinate, but then she can have an orgasm and then she might ejaculate. How much pressure do you need on your G-spot? Not much pressure, but firm pressure. Not hard pressure, but firm. Firm, firm. and keep consistent. It, it looks yep. like you, you, you put your fingers out like you're doing a painting. Yeah, like yeah finger firm, painting. like this, like this, like consistent, consistent. Um so once she starts to ejaculate, a clear liquid, a clear fluid will squirt or sprinkle out of her urethra. It can be a lot, about a quarter cup sometimes, or it may be a good idea to keep So it's a good idea to keep a, I keep like a, a towel handy. I like a two liter. You got to keep a towel handy, Menace. A two liter. Okay? Uh-huh. Try clean that up. Some Emily. women do. I, I mean, some women have a lot. I know. Okay? Have you? You've I been, felt like I was in the deep end of a swimming pool. When what? If she, when she, ejac- was, she was ejaculating. Did that happen to you? Yes. I felt like I was drowning. Really? Yes. What did you do? Did you leave? Did you wrap her up in the sheets and throw in the, um, what did you like, do? What is this? No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say anything. I want to get you these, left, they I make these so sport sheets her. now. <laughs> what? You did? <laughs> like, You're the worst kind of no, guy. No, I'm. So, You're the worst kind of I dude. Am, I don't even know why I'm here. What? I'm just. <laughs> Joking, God. I was thinking that stuff. I didn't say it out loud. But you didn't think it was kind of hot? No. Because what if you were in her bed and her bed got all wet? I still wouldn't think, oh, my God, I, I, I am so erect because of it. No. I wouldn't think it was hot, but I wouldn't care. Okay. Well, time. a lot of men do care. think it's hot. I don't care. So just remember, use your toys or use your fingers. It might not happen the first time, but – women can learn to ejaculate. And there's also like DVDs and you can watch online and there's stuff you could do. Yeah. Squirting.com. I'm sure that's available. There is squirting. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is things that all guys want in bed. And there's is, 10 of them. I don't know if we're going to get to all of them. But I'm going to tell you. That, I'll tell you if they're true or see, not. Okay. All right. right. Ready? What you got? He wants a girl who can turn herself on. As you know, women need to get revved up. Although your man may be more than willing to pull out all the stops to get you hot, he wouldn't mind if you gave yourself a running start. To give your libido a boost, draw on the same sources of inspiration you use during your solo missions during masturbation. Once his seduction scheme begins, close your eyes, fantasize about a hot encounter you had with your man or even some other dude. So do you think that's true that a guy wants a girl who can turn herself on? You'd love that, dude. Uh, yeah. You'd love a girl who could have sex with herself, probably. Yeah, I do. 
Okay. He wants sex to be fun. Unfortunately, real life romps aren't as seamless as they are in the movies. If you get hung up on a mishap, it will ruin the mood. But if you both laugh, it becomes a light bonding moment. So make a silly bet to be paid off by sexual favors or play a board game in bed and then agree the loser Guys has want to that? Whatever. Guys want sex to be fun. Do you think sex should be fun? Uh, that we're like joking around and stuff? Yeah. Uh-huh. Frisky, fun. is more about, you know, it's like just like Well, do you know what's things. funny is like when women you try to be... You want to be comfortable with someone. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I want to like, you know, do Dave Chappelle stand up while I'm having sex. Like I don't... Right. You know, that doesn't really but you could like on. play sex games. <laughs> but I, a woman trying to be sexy, I find hilarious. How does she do that? Where, you know, she, she like does the porn star moan. Yeah, she's just doing the porn star moan or like trying to give the, you know, sexy face and stuff. Like and that. you laugh I'm at like, her. That's ah. when you laugh. That's when sex is funny to you. Ah. What are you doing? Women cannot win with you. They can't ejaculate. They can't look sexy. They can't demand oral sex. You don't want to find their G spot. Yeah. What do they make them? Order you pizza or something? Oh, and yeah, that would be good. Change the channels. Mm, delicious. Okay. No, I can have sex with them and have fun. It's all good. You know? It's all good, baby. What up? Okay. (laughs) He wants you to drop hints. When it comes to pleasing the woman in their lives, every man he wishes he had ESP. Correct. Extra sexual perception. But the truth is your libidinous longings can be baffling. Give erotic instruction with positive reinforcement. Correct. Men all want... Women should give instructions. Guys... Do not know what the hell you want. Every woman is different. If a man has seen a haunt of vaginas, those vaginas all want something different. It's true. Yeah. And so you as a woman and you know what you want, you know what you need and you're like afraid because, oh, he's going to think I'm easy or he's going to think blah, blah, blah. Just friggin' tell him what you want already. Just be like, go to the left, go to the right, stick your mouth in it, put your finger in it, do whatever. And like, tell him. Okay. Next thing guys want, they say, is he wants to watch. For men, what they see is almost as good as what they get. So make sure to give him an eyeful. Sex next to a mirror, you and girl on top position, or if you're feeling brave, touching yourself in front of him. So do you get turned on by, like, sex in front of a mirror or if she's touching herself? A lot of men do. Uh, Do I get turned on? No. You don't get turned on by sex in front of a mirror? No. I don't. How about if a woman's touching herself? Nope. That doesn't make you hot. Okay. It doesn't. I just I'm not like playing I around be, either. I don't even Why? feel like you're the right guy for this job right now. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, I should be a guy that, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do anything men, to get laid and everything you do is sexy and, oh, my God, I'm so horny. Like, go whatever. Just go find some fucking perv then in you know i'm being totally honest i know you are honey i'm just kidding yeah? i'm teasing you can i tease you man <laughs> no, i tease no. you two buck just, can't hey. tease me. Hey, t- look. T- b- t- b- look here essay <laughs> i am just giving you the real deal okay but i'm telling you from my experience okay. and i've had sex with some men mm-hmm. that a lot of men are turned on by women touching themselves sex in front of a mirror so you can see visual men are very yeah. visual so are women so it can be very hot Okay, next thing guy wants, he wants you to be naughty. Even if you're the bad girl at heart, you might hold back with your guy, but men want to see that no holds barred side of you. They just don't want to offend you by asking for it. Yes. You want her to be naughty? How? Give me an example of something a woman did that was naughty. That's naughty. Well, I don't even like that word. I know, but you know what uh, I mean. I mean, yeah, if a girl, you know, is, you know, trying to grab my crotch at, you know, at the house or something like right, that. You right, right. Oh, she makes the Or moves. she's a little aggressive, yeah. She's aggressive. Yeah, I think that, that, that one of the number bad. one complaints I get, I hear from men is that women don't make enough first moves. Yeah, they don't. I right? Don't. Is it true? Like, do you totally feel like true. the burden's totally on you? Totally. And then, you you know, again, you, sometimes you feel like, am I being a perv right now? I don't know what am I doing. Am right, because she's not reacting and she's yeah, waiting for you I to look make like the move. A, do I look like a weirdo or a freak, you know? Right. I it's got terrible. it. So women should make the first move. And then they tell Sometimes. you later, it's like, oh. And then the women tell you later, like a couple years later when it's already over. Oh, you should have made a move that night. I told you. I totally wanted to bang you. Blah, blah. What? Why didn't you just tell me that you wanted to bang? Like, why didn't we just go to the because hotel the and hook up? Because the first time women want you to make the move oftentimes. Whores. I mean, lovely, classy women. <sighs> 
Upstanding. They're not I have nothing but respect. Okay. Another thing guys all want. He wants a wow. What was that experience? To separate yourself from the pack, you'll need to move a bit. A move. You'll need to pull a move so wild, he won't be able to stop thinking about it the next day. Now you don't have to bust out a complicated trick by best used by yoga instructors. Just tweak an old standby stay, switching between oral sex and intercourse with him blindfolded. We know how you feel about blindfolds, but wouldn't you like to have an experience with a woman? I, haven't you ever had experience with a woman where the next day you were thinking about it still? Yeah. If you could remember, if you weren't blacked out. No, no. I saw. It. Were you thinking about it the next day? Yeah. I'd, I've had some experience where I think about it years later. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um, some of the things that women can do is blindfold him, give him amazing oral you like sex, do a, strip, do a strip tease. You love being like tied up and put But I never a, am. I'm never tied up enough. Like a sex box, like a box. You just put in like a little cage. You're like into all that kind of stuff. I've right? never been put you, in a cage, <laughs> but I would be into it maybe. You I like one like, of those like masks that have zippers on the lips. And no, stuff like that. I feel like though I would like to try more of that stuff, but um, it just hasn't been happening lately for me. <laughs> but I think I have done things to guys where they were like, "Holy crap! What did you just do? Oh my god, that was so hot last night!" And usually those things involve like dressing up or or just giving them a killer blowjob or. Yeah, blindfolding him so he doesn't know what comes next. You know, the thing about blindfolding is blindfolding a man or a woman is that when you turn off one sense, all the other senses become more heightened. So if he can't see, she can't see, then that means your touch is going to be more sensitive. Smell, taste, sound. So blindfolding is big. That's why I like it. Okay. He wants you to mix things up. Repetition can make once hot sex Sex sections, sex sessions seem ho hum. Any change in speed, pressure, or position will make the act more interesting and pleasurable. True. Mm, don't true. you want it to move up and be all different all the time? Yeah, totally. I don't want to do the same. The same old same position, old? the same missionary style, in uh, the same <laughs> uh, wrestling moves that I do. Right. I usually do the. Uh, it's called the moon salt. You know what that is? No. Where I do a backflip off the corner of the bed and land on top of the woman. I cannot see you doing that. Oh, really? You don't think I can pull it off? No, you might crush her or something. <laughs> oh, I'll crush her. Okay, so you're saying I'm overweight. No, wow. any guy would crush it. All I'm right. not saying it. Just Mr. Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Mr. Something. What? Why can't I like Taco Bell? I was at Taco Bell the other day. And how was it? A, listener, you a listener recognized me. Shut up. Yeah, as I was reading, as I was eating my Doritos Locals Tacos, you know what that is? No. Um, not that I'm a stoner, but it's a stoner's paradise. It is a, it's a taco, <laughs> a, a Taco Bell taco, and the shell is a Dorito chip. Sounds awful. It's an amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> a Doritos chip <laughs> is the shell of the taco. How is that? A Dorito should just be a Dorito. But there's the fucking taco in the I middle I know, of it. but I don't even know. I, like, uh, I just, what? That doesn't sound good to me. Because How Dorito, does that not sound because good? Because Doritos are so flavorful and like bursting with like, yeah. like taste. Like, imagine, not, not even a good flavor. Imagine some meat and some sour cream and cheese and lettuce all up in that Oh my God, I'm getting nauseous right now. Why? And I'm already full from lunch still. So Have I told good. you that? So a listener from this show recognized you? Uh, no, my other show, but and they were like, "Are you because you're at Taco Bell? Because yeah, you should be their friggin' mascot instead of that I stupid be Chihuahua." So bad. <laughs> Didn't it used to be that Chihuahua. <laughs> the Chihuahua was like 15 years ago, but yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> they need a new one. The Chihuahua probably died. I would love to be a spokesperson for them. I can't believe you're eating a Dorito taco. That sounds Why? nasty. Why? It's so it sounds good. Nasty. You're high right now. I wish. <sighs> okay, he wants Nookie out of nowhere. Oh, God. Where? For a Who's writing this crap? Nookie? I didn't really? write it. I'm just telling you. For a spontaneous seduction, ask him to pull over to a deserted spot for a roadside ramp when you're driving home one night or at a party. Take him into the back bedroom and closet. I like Basically, this. guys like that. Like that. Guy, but if she says Nookie, then it's out. I'm just I'm saying it say, Nookie out of, out of out nowhere. Of here, it's alliteration. Nookie. It's alliteration. Nookie nowhere. Whatever. Okay. Forget yeah. it. So the point is, is that... I know a lot of men, and you've said this before, like you want a woman to walk in the door, pull down your pants, and give you a blowjob. Yeah. Like without even saying hello. Yeah. 
So these are the kind of things we're talking about that, that men would like women to be more spontaneous, maybe a oral more sex, aggressive. pull over, more aggressive, pull over in the car, you know, pull the car over and take down his pants or want to do something like that. But guys can also give roadhead too, you know. What? As they're driving? No, she's driving. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm Duh. just saying you could do both. Um, what? What were you going to say about that one? Have you, that, have you ever acts, done that? What? I, I was trying to think how this is uh, possible. The, the, a the man ad, going down on a woman? As she's driving. How is that even possible? No, I haven't had that, but I've had a guy's fingers inside me as I was driving. Yeah, of course. Everyone's done that. Everyone's done that. Duh. But anything spontaneous that you could just, just like... When he's least expected. I just hear this from men all the time that when when you're least expecting sex to happen and she takes you, it's again, it's women. Yeah, like, I want a chick that just picks me up and say, hey, I got this hotel room. We're going to go party in it right now. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm in love. Right. So you have to do all the work because men are left doing the work all the time. All the time. Don't you see why I'm exhausted? Got to cater to you guys all the time, and then you don't give me Dorito Taco Bell. No, it's not good for your health. Effing good, man. Okay, we should get Taco Bell. I would stick my dick in that taco anytime. Really? Yeah, that would turn you on. Ugh. (laughs) What if she stuck your dick in a taco and then she sucked your dick with all the taco? I would be jealous because I would want some of the taco. You'd be pissed. Yeah, (laughs) you'd want to suck your own penis. That was a bad analogy. Excuse me. It was. Okay, bitch, eat my taco. I want to eat the taco while getting fellatio. Oh, you'd be in heaven oh then. God, and then, what, then Jersey Shore on television? Fuck yeah, dude. And and <laughs> I would know that I could marry this chick if I'm eating the taco. Because you know when you eat a taco, like, <laughs> shit goes all over the place. Like, uh, uh, yeah. you know, some of the you know, lettuce and yeah, cheese yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. If I was eating that and she was giving me fellatio and the taco, was, pizzas of the taco was falling on her head and she wasn't tripping. She just kept on going. Then. Right. That's a chick you should marry. What if the pieces of taco are falling on your bed? Because oh, I'm you, pissed. Right, because you're such a neat freak. Yeah. Well, we, we would have to be doing this like over a tarp. You need to like get a tarp. You <laughs> I need, need a, tarp. a sex tarp. They make sex tarps. Sex tarp? Like they're like called sport sheets and they're mm. just for like crazy wet sex lube. I'm uh-huh. a huge fan of lube, as you know, lubricants. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everybody should have lube on their nightstand. It makes sex... It enhances well, they made the experience. this. They made this spray that's totally waterproof. They've put made Levi's jeans. They put it all over the fabric. Oh, right. I'm. You can throw a bucket of water at these and you don't pants, get wet? and they don't get wet. That's the water amazing. just falls right off. What does that have to do with lubricant, though? No, I'm saying that I, I should put those on my sheets. And oh, stuff like that, oh, and we're then, back. Yes, yeah. you should get a bunch, string together a bunch of Levi's jeans, and then I can just vacuum it. Yeah, off. Yeah, you could vacuum it off. You could use lube. You could have women ejaculate all over you, and you could eat Taco Bell all you want, and then you could just shake it off and get in bed. Mm-hmm. I think you should do that. Sounds but they good. make these things called sport sheets, and they're just for messy sex. Sport sheets. I'll get you one. I promise. Okay, the next thing guys, all guys want, but I don't know if we all agree with this, is, okay, we're going through them. He wants to take you. The best way to bring out the sexy beast in a guy is to initiate some take me, I'm yours action or allow him to rip your clothes off. Yeah, and then he can just do what he wants. And do you then... want to just take a girl and just be able to do whatever you want? You want to rip, take her? Yeah, sometimes. Not all okay, the time. These is, are all about variety. This is about variety. This is, this is what I want sometimes, okay? All right. Sometimes I'll put in the work and make you happy. I'll do that most of the time. Let's say 80% of the time. Okay. Okay. But what do you mean by but, put in the work and make her happy? Go down in her or whatever? Yeah, and make you, you know, make sure you orgasm and all that stuff. The other 20% of the time, sometimes I just want to take you and have sex with you. And not worry about her pleasure. And worry about your pleasure. Right. I just want to be able to, you know. Right. You know, orgasm, right? Like super quick, and that's it. Like, just let me do that sometimes. You Not should. just like every single time I have to. I know. And women want that sometimes. I think this is a really interesting point that we're bringing up that women and men sometimes, sometimes it should just be about her, and sometimes it should just be about him. And that is yeah. such a pleasure if you're like, like I think it's hot when I like if, if I'm having sex with someone, I'm like, no, I just want you to have an orgasm. Like, I don't worry about me. Or if, vice versa, if he's like, mm-hmm. I'm just going to go down on you and I don't care about sex. Like, it's such a relief 
Because often we think that we got to get what we give. We got to give back. He's going down to me. I got to go down to him. But to make it like, no, babe, this is just about your orgasm. And it kind of exonerates you from all other kinds of, of pressure to perform and to this, make this person happy. I think it's a good thing. We should all practice that in our relationships. Like tonight, men, is all about you. I'm going to bring you a nice fresh Dorito taco. I would love that. I'm going to, you know, perform oral sex on oh you. God. I'm going to let you watch TV all night yes. long. Yeah, right? And nothing about uh-huh. me. Like I'm just going to be your indentured servant. Good. What, does that ever happen with you? Would you ever do that? To no. a guy? Yeah, no. I would. No, you wouldn't. I've for sure had sex with a guy where I'm like, I don't even care if I mm-hmm. orgasm right now. I'm not going to orgasm. Or, yeah, but you say that in the middle of sex, but it wasn't like in. No, like, you're right. It should be more intentional. No, I've given guys blowjobs and just said, "I this is just about you having a blowjob," and I don't really want. Well, else. you're doing the Lord's work then. I am doing the Lord's work. I'm a good person like that. I'm very mm. giving. Hey, you know what? Hey, what? Uh, a little off topic, but do you think this would get me laid? My listeners on uh, the other show I do are acti- actively pursuing. To get me the key to the city of the the town that I grew up in. Okay. So do you think that would get me laid? If I walked around, because I was thinking if I got... Do you want to get laid in the town you grew up in? No, no, no. But I got a key to the city. If I got a key to the city and I wore it around like on a chain and stuff, do you think that would get me laid? Like a big gold chain? No. And especially or if I Newark, said, hey, California. Yeah, it's like, look, I got a key to the city. You yeah, think get me and laid? I got a key to the restroom around the corner. Like, who cares? You're not impressed that I got a key to the city. Did you get it or you're working on it? And I mean, no, I'm not impressed. It. It's a hypothetical key. It's they, not even a real key. It doesn't open anything. It's just, it's just, a, it's I just got an email from the mayor. <laughs> the mayor said, I'll give you a key. Well, he said he's looking he's into it. He's got getting several key. keys. No, he said they've only done it twice in the history of the city. Only done it twice. You don't even like the city you grew up in. I love Newark. What are you talking about? Oh, you do? I love, I love the two places I, yeah. Okay. There's never been one city Yeah, Menace, like, then you'd really get laid if you just bop that key around, put on a big gold chain or something. You're not impressed with a man that got a key to the city. Nope. Well, what city? Maybe San Francisco. Wow. But not Newark. Okay. You know Walt Disney? He got a key to the city of San Francisco. Just thought I'd throw it out there. You're you and your San Francisco facts. <laughs> one more thing we got to say is he okay. wants the number 10 thing he wants is number 10th, number 10. <laughs> he wants you to do just do nothing sometimes. On the flip side, men prefer it when you take over. Lying back, well, chick, whatever. So sometimes sometimes she just wants you to take over. That's what we got to say. That's good. And right? you want to be able to take over sometimes. Everyone should share and do everything. Okay, we that's sex for today. We We're learned a done. lot. Thanks, everyone, for Happy listening. Friday. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening to Sex with Emily. Was it good for you? Email me, feedback at sexwithemily.com. And follow you on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Sex with Emily. Love you. Mean it. See you next week.